Jake, what makes your run defense so good? Because time and again this season, you guys have put the hammer to some really good runs. I just feel like we're super aggressive. You know, Coach Long, you know, preaches, you know, being tough every practice, every game. And I just feel like we collectively want to just, you know, live up to his expectations. So we just try to attack or be aggressive and try to not let them get any yards. Jake, tonight, uh, see tonight for you, um, how special was that considering all that? Whole oh, this is an incredible moment, you know, just to, you know, wrap up everything that's, you know, happened this year and, uh, you know, be, you know, honored as a senior, just like the rest of the seniors in there. It's just, it's just an awesome feeling. Did you say when Max, Max goes down? Yeah, it's emotional. Very emotional. I'm sorry. Fine, no, you're good. When Max goes down, what are, what are you guys saying to, to, to calm Christian down and, and how much more emphasis did that put on the run game? Honestly, at that point in time, I, I didn't know what they were telling Christian because I was, I was still in the back right. hurt as well. But... We were just trying to keep stay stay on his back and tell him to keep going, and and he was able to make good throws and and get me and Chase Price the ball, and, and he 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 played well. DJ, what did you see on that seventy-two yard touchdown run there uh, the other the second quarter? Uh, once once I caught the pitch, I, I tried to go outside, but I see I seen a seam and, and there was nobody there. And after that, after I seen the seam, I just full full speed. Yeah, it was th third and seventeen. Oh, definitely. After that play, it seemed like we got the momentum, and, and we had the momentum going into the half, and they weren't even able to move the ball the second half. And in our offense, they moved the ball well. In our offense the line, they attacked their defense line, and we were able to have the momentum the whole game and just, just win the game. What was uh, what was the injury to her ankle initially? It was just a tweak, the normal tweak that I usually get, but I'll be good. <laughs> Yeah. Left one. Yeah. And so when you came off the table, you were still kind of gingerly walking around. Was there much of a doubt you were going to be able to go back in? I knew I, I'd be able to go back in, and because I see this guy, he goes through adversity. He's been through adversity the whole time I've been here, and <laughs> so <laughs> I, I had to go back in. And Coach Coach Hall was getting in my ear, saying that they need you, and. And that, that's that's the biggest thing for me. Is I want to play for my teammates, especially on senior night. Yeah. Given your guys' uh, undefeated conference record, do you feel like you deserve to host uh, the conference title game, especially now that Air Force lost to them? I mean, personally, I do. I mean, I feel like all the you know rankings and all that don't really mean anything, but I feel like I mean, we deserve that you know opportunity to play at home and get that that chance, but, you know, it's not our decision. It's obviously commissioning and whatever. Do you understand the rankings? I really don't, but <laughs> I just know that. We don't even know. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Eight note, Jake, what does that mean to you? Uh, it just means that all of our hard work that we all put in this year is starting to pay off, you know, just going through all the summer workouts and believing in each other and all the bonds and friendships that we build throughout the years just coming together and just want to finish it off. We're not done yet, you know. Talking about bond and friendship, did you, did you and Chase kind of feel like, did you feel like it was kind of incumbent upon you guys to put it on your backs after Max went out? Oh, definitely. Like, you see, we, we ran the ball we had 200 yards in the first half. That that shows our offensive line. They they were busting themselves. And, and Dakota Gordon, he's been doing that all year. And and when I when I went down, Chase Price, right away he he picked it right up and he he scored a touchdown and was able to keep us in the game. And honestly, it's, it's it's a blessing, but I don't really think. Excuse me? Did you know that he had reached the peak during the game? I mean, once they announced it, it was, I, I heard about it, but I, I'm not really into that type of stuff. Just the A to know is better <laughs> than, than the personal victory. Okay, Bruce. Yeah,
guys going into tonight's game knowing uh, that you know had a chance to talk some history with the conference record and help uh, your case uh, hosting the, the, the uh, conference title game? How much were those two things on your guys' mind, you know, in preparation and in going ready for tonight? I don't even think we even thought about that. We knew we had this game here, so our main focus was winning this game tonight, and that's what we had to do, so that's what we did. Same, same. It was all the same for the whole team. Uh, well, I know that we, we, you know, people step up and when people get hurt, you know, other players come in and step up. So I got faith in everybody. So I didn't think I had to play any, any better or whatnot. I, I got faith in all, all the guys. Malik, they had a really good run in offense going into this game. You guys suffered pretty well. Um, and it's 30 some yards total. What did you guys do so well against the run? Uh, I think we just did what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. You know, we've just been, you know, working hard, you know, at, during practice and then come game time, we're trying to execute the scheme. And I think the scheme was right for today's game. And it, obviously it worked. What makes this team so good against the run? Because you guys have time and again stopped good running teams with good backs. Um, is it as much the defensive backfield to pursue? What is, what is it about this team that I think our coaches just our defensive coaches molded us into you know real aggressive players. You know we were real downhill. That's the first thing we're looking to stop the run and then you know stop the pass. So I think we have just been molded to be that aggressive to stop the run. And do you see that as a challenge when these you know, first teams come in? Absolutely. When we see the run first team, we know we want to hold them under their average and whatnot, and we want to pound. They trying to pound the ball on us, so we're gonna try to give them our best. Uh, well, when Naeem came back, you know, it was back to, you know, smooth rotation and whatnot, you know, so I think it, it helped. It helped. I believe it helped a little bit, but I don't think, you know, the Aztec position was the problem in the passing game, this game, or anything like that, so it might have helped a little bit. Pierce, you're, you're already a run heavy team, and when your quarterback goes down, you guys obviously got to ramp it up even more, I suspect, on the ground. How much pride do you guys take? Uh, we take a lot of pride in our run game. Um, just basically, our coaches give us a plan, and it's up to us five. Even the tight ends, too. I, I give a lot of credit to the tight ends because they don't get enough credit because they're down there in, in the trenches with us. And we're just going out there, whatever the coaches tell us to do, we go and execute. Everyone knows we're running the ball first, so it doesn't even matter. We're just going to go out there and run it. Uh, yeah, he's he's a pretty special player. I like every time I see him in front of me, I know something good is happening. He's always going to go up there and you know make someone miss. If we get him up to the safety, he'll make a miss every time. Did you guys hear when they announced the New Mexico score? What was your reaction? Uh, I didn't even hear it. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I, I heard it. I was just excited. You know, um, I don't know if that means we'll host the game or not, but we, I got really excited when I heard that. Um, of course, we were, we were going undefeated in conference, but uh, you know that stuff's not really up to us. And you know, honestly, it doesn't really matter where the game will be. We're just going to go out and play, no matter where it is. Absolutely, I feel the same way. Don't matter where the game is. I hope it's here. I want it to be here, but it doesn't matter where it is. We're going to go and play our hardest. Uh, well, I was just – I was a free player, and, you know, you just kind of read the quarterback, and it was boot. You know, he booted to the left, so, you know, I, obviously I go to the left, and, you know, I read him and see where he's trying to throw it in, just try to make a play on the ball. Demonte's also, you know, street zone. Right. Um, what makes Demonte so good? Uh, I believe he just has real good ball skills. Uh, he's a real good player. You know, he's real smart. You know, he does his job. You know, he always preaches that, just do your 1-11. And that's what he does, and I think that's why he has so many interceptions. He does his job. Regarding Demonte, past years he had a bunch of deflections, but not interceptions. What's been the difference, you know, getting turnovers into picks this year from your vantage point? Uh, I believe it's just, you know, his work technique. He worked hard <coughs> during practice. He worked hard in the offseason. So I believe that all the work that he's put in in the offseason is showing now.